Hey everybody, hey it's James. Um, back here on the internet, thought I'd get on the um, the 2021 vinyl blues tag. Great idea, Chris, created by, um, for those you don't know, Chris, the blues guy, and I'll leave a link to the video if, if for you are unfamiliar. Started the vinyl blues tag and um, really glad he did this. The blues does not get enough love um, online or in the real world. So we need to promote the blues as much as possible. So great idea, Chris. I'll get right into it. Stop rambling. <laughs> I'll go through these. Um, first one, an electric blues album. I chose this one, Eddie Campbell, King of the Jungle. Um, this is, um, 1977. Um, uh, this is just a Chicago blues kind of thing. Um, 1977, so it's like maybe a little bit later than that style, but, and, and if I ever get hair on my head again, I want that. <laughs> Eddie Campbell, King of the Jungle. Acoustic blues, uh, lots to choose from. Thought I'd do this one, Clifford Gibson. Uh, this is on Yazoo, um, and this is all stuff from... Uh, 1929 if you know Yazoo it has that Yazoo vibe um, and I love it um, the liner notes start out with the scant facts known about Clifter, Clifford Gibson do little justice to his position as one of the most inspired of all country blues artists I love when notes allude to the fact that there's not much known about somebody um, creates more mystery and Really nice record, Clifford Gibson on Yazoo, 1929. A live record, um, Magic Sam and Shaky Jake. This is um, live at Silvio's in Chicago, December 1968. And this is on um, Black Magic Records out of the Netherlands. The Europeans... You know, I hate to say it, but I think they revere the blues sometimes more than Americans do. Um, it's just a reality, but nice record. Magic Jam, Magic Sam, Shaky Jake, live at Silvio's, 1968. There we go. Um, a gatefold or a double. Magic Slim, the blues man. Um, there's the back. It's on this French thing. Um... Here's the gatefold, um, and I don't know exactly what this is. I don't know if it's a comp or if it was it originally. I think it actually might have been originally a, a twofer, or not a twofer, but an actual double album. It's, this isn't a compilation, I'm pretty sure. Uh, nice exploitive shot there of him sitting in the junkyard. Um, but yeah, Magic Slim, the blues man, double. Um, what else? My oldest blues album by year, how long I've had it. I can't exactly be sure, but I'm pretty sure this is the first blues album I ever got. Buddy Guy, um, left my blues in San Francisco on chess. Pretty sure this is my first, um, I think I got this at some point in high school, maybe when I was 16, 17. Um, but it's one of these, um, chess this thing came out in 87, um, so it might have it might've, might've gotten out of this a little after high school. I don't know. I might be wrong, but buddy guy, I think this is my first blues record. Um, what else? My newest blues are most recent. My newest blues, I know is this, because I just got this maybe a month ago, is this blues comp. I love blues comps. Um, this is called Roots of the Post-War Blues. It just has stuff by, um, let's see, uh, Memphis Mini, some Memphis Slim, Little Buddy Doyle, Walter Davis, Sonny Boy Williamson, Bumblebee Slim, Little Brother Montgomery, Leroy Carr. Um, and again, this is out of Denmark, another European uh, blues pressing, blues reissue kind of thing. I love blues comps. They're not only inexpensive, but the music's always great. Um, I just threw this in on some order I got. I don't know, it was like five bucks and I just threw it in, but 
yeah, Root to the Post War Blues. This is the most re recent uh, blues record that I got. Uh, what else? Um, okay, shows of blues 45. I don't have any of those. Show of blues 10 inch. I don't have any of those. So I'm going to skip to the next question that I can actually answer, which is um, a record on chess. Shaky Horton. Um, this could have been the first blues record I got other than that buddy guy. Um, Soul of the Blues Harmonica is this one. I remember I bought this specifically. I mean, I was interested in it, but at the time I was trying to learn to play harmonica. Trying is the operative word because I, I gave up. Um, you know, take a path of least resistance. If I only didn't get into it right away, I give up. Story of my life. But yeah, Shaky Horton, Blues of the Harmonica, uh, Soul of the Blues Harmonica on, uh, on chess. There you go. Um, a Delmark record. The one and only Jimmy Dawkins, Jimmy Fast Fingers Dawkins on uh, Delmark. This was, um, when did this come out? You know, it's interesting because there's a sticker on here. This apparently won the best album of the year, Grand Prix, uh, the Hot Club of France. I mean, again, the Europeans respecting the blues. On and on and on. Um, I still have the original shrink on here, and I don't really care about that stuff, but it, it's kind of cool to have, right? Um, yeah, look at Jimmy Ta Dawkins back there. That's a great um, back cover shot of, of Mr. Dawkins. He, he, he's blistering, man. Jimmy Dawkins, all right. Um, a record on alligator. This is very common, but uh, this was the first record, or no, I'm sorry, it wasn't the first record on Alligator. That was Hound Dog Taylor, but this is one of the best electric blues records ever, and most of you, I'm sure, know of this or or, or know of the legend. Uh, the Sun Seals Blues Band, his first record. Um, wow. This is the shit. Sun Seals. Show a smaller indie blues label. I thought I'd show this Johnny Dollar on. Um, it's on the the Isabel blues label, uh, a French label. Um, this was recorded in 1980 in Paris in the studio. I have maybe four or five of these Isabels. They're all recorded late 70s to like 1980 and. They're all really, really good electric blues. Um, I don't really like horns in my blues. It's not my thing. I'm okay if it's spare, if it's used sparingly. Um, this one has harmonica, but um, I didn't mention that because there's some on this series that have horns, um, not the ones I have, but these are these are really good series on the Isabel label out of France. Um, this one's Johnny Dollar, and they all they all say blues power on there. Um, there's a Buddy Guy, Junior Wells, uh, Magic Slim, or some of the names that are familiar. There's a Jimmy Dawkins. Um, there's a number of these. Yeah, Isabel Label. All right. Um, what else? Uh, a blues album in a regional style. Well, this one says it right on the cover. Um, Blind Teddy Darby and that St. Louis Country Blues, uh, 1929 and 1937. So this is a comp of um, Blind Teddy Darby. Um, you know, some of, this is on this, what, this, I think this is another Austrian label too. Um, this might be the document label. Well, it's actually Earl Records, but Austria. Once again, the Europeans come through. Um, this is all stuff from, well, I said it 1929 and 1937. Songs like Deceiving Blues, Built Right on the Ground, Bought a Bottle of Gin, Meat and Bread Blues, I'm Gonna Wreck Your V8. <laughs> The Girl I Left Behind, Heart Trouble Blues, Bootlegging Ain't Good No More. I love this kind of stuff. This is all just, um, it's actually guitar. And you know who's actually on here is Roosevelt Sykes. Uh, does a lot of piano work on here too. And that guy, Petey Wheatstraw. Um, great, great stuff here. Anything on this label, you gotta get. 
um, show a psych blues album. This question was a little abstract to me. Um, I know some people have, have shown their interpretation of what psych blues is. Um, and this is just my interpretation. I just went for it. This is Burning Plague. It's a um, blues rock band. It was a blues rock, a uh, Belgian blues rock band. Uh, this came out in 1969, um, or actually it might have been 1970. It's either 69 or 70. Um, there's the back, um, and there's the gatefold. Um, highly recommended for blues fans, but especially for like people who really like blues rock. Um, this is raw and you know, no pun intending, this is burning. Um, really, really good stuff here. Um, check this out. It's on the pseudonym label, Burning Plague. Um, nice extra quality too. When Europeans bring in their, their blues um, ideals to rock, Burning Plague. Um, could be a psychedelic element too. I mean, that's all open to interpretation, right? All right. Um, show a British blues album, mate. I went with Savoy Brown looking in. Um, Savoy Brown's still around, or, or you know, the leader Kim Simmons is still still churning out stuff. So he keeps on going. Savoy Brown, great great uh, British blues band. That, um, one of my favorites. Yeah, looking in. Um, and there's the back. All right. A um, couple more to go. Um, an album by a King. Um, I thought I'd show this Albert King Blues at Sunrise. This is live in uh, Montreux, uh, 1973. On um, this is on Stax, I believe. Or no, I'm sorry. This is on uh, Fantasy. Well, yeah, no, it's it's on Stax. Um, it is Stax. Albert King. Uh, Great versions on here of I'll Play the Blues for You and uh, Don't Burn Down the Bridge because you might want to come back. Um, I mean, you know, we all know how great Albert King is, so. Blues at Sunrise. Um, album in a delicious color. I don't have any colored vinyl um, because I don't have any um, blues reissues or, or repressings of things, so um, everything's in just good old black vinyl. Um, so I'm gonna skip that one. Next question, a friend had the, a blues that was recommended. This is a slight variance. It's this uh, ZZ Hill. Um, it's a compilation of his stuff on, on Ace. It's called uh, Dues Paid Full. And um, this is like his early stuff. I think this is all stuff from um, maybe like the mid 60s to the early 70s. And this wasn't necessarily recommended to me, but a good friend of mine at one point mentioned he was looking for this and he has the most credibility in my world in terms of music. If he is even thinking that there's something that he's looking for, I'm thinking it must be good. So it got on my radar screen and then I found it. So it was, um, it wasn't an, an overt recommendation, but it was a kind of subtle suggestion. So I went for it. I gotta, I gotta listen. It's been a long time, but this is, an, I remember, this is a really nice record. ZZ Hill, kind of like a blues soul type of feel to it. Uh, ZZ Hill, dues paid full. Bad cover. Um, they need a new cover for this one. It looks, look, looks a little too, a little too clean with those, with those neon colors. Um, not how a blues album cover should be, but I'll take it. The music's good. Um, yeah, ZZ Hill. And um, the last question. Um, um, a, oh, I'm sorry. Did I already do that? No. Oh, I got it wrong. Um, a glorious blues find or discovery. Um, Lonesome Sundown. Uh, I had seen this in the bins for months or even years. It was always in there, it was always cheap. And there was just something about it. It's on this Excello label. Um, and I finally went for it because it was maybe five or six bucks or something calling me. 
this is really good. Um, almost like a, um, the guy's name is actually Lonesome Sundown. It's not the name of the record. That's his. That's his name, his stage name. Um, he was a guy. He was his real name is Cornelius Green. Um, it has an R and B uh, flavorings to it. Lonesome Sundown. Uh, so if you find this, check it out. It's really, really good stuff um, and cheap. Good and cheap. You, you can't get much better than that. And it's the blues. It shouldn't be. Blues shouldn't be expensive. Um, I mean, no record should be expensive. That's another topic entirely, right? But um, great record here, Lonesome Sundown. Um, and I totally screwed up because the last question was the first blue, blues album I remember getting. And I already showed that buddy guy, San Francisco. I don't know how I, how I got that wrong. But anyway, that's how it worked out. So um, what the hell? Uh, yeah, that's, that's it. Blues tag 2021. And um, yeah, looking forward to seeing more. Um, blues albums need to be bought. They need to be shown. Um, every time I go to a record store, for better or worse, record, blues section is always empty. Like, there's no one there. Which is good for me because I can just, you know, flip through and, and relax. Um, there's no one in my way, um, which is always a strange thing. But that again, that's another topic for another day. Why the blues doesn't get more love and um, appreciation in the, in the in the populace in general in in this in the states. Um, maybe we can have a group discussion about that sometime. Anyway, I'm rambling as usual. It's James uh, Blues Vinyl Tag 2021. Thanks. Take care. Later.